It is the last day of school for many students across Canada. Along with report cards, there's that feeling of anticipation and anxiety about what comes next. That's especially true for those heading to high school or to university. Today is the last installment of our series called Learning Curve on how the pandemic has affected students. The CBC's Deanna Sumanak Johnson joins me now with more. So, Deanna, what did you find out about these school transitions? Well, Arthi, we know, we remember from our own school days that uh, starting out in a new school at an older uh, grade and a most, more advanced level is always nerve-wracking, whether it's you're you know, going into high school or heading to university. But I think we can all agree that we had nothing compared to what these kids have gone through, the pandemic kids of the last few years. So uh, for the graduates of this year, at least they get to have in-person graduations in many cases. They get to see their teachers, their classmates, to see them off. So they have this important milestone. However, they still have a lot of anxiety we learned about socialization and about being academically behind. I mean, uh, more than two years of their schooling have been appended by the pandemic. All the switches between online and in person. Uh, we got a chance to speak to Professor Lance McCready at uh, University of Toronto. Uh, he is a professor at uh, in the Department of Education, but he also advises new students who are coming into uh, University of Toronto, which of course is a huge institution. He helps them out with these transitions and integrations. Here's what he had to say about why it's particularly hard for the students this year. So there, a lot of students weren't really sure what to expect. So for instance, you know, in our admissions this year, a lot of students were asking, okay, is this going to be in person or is it going to be online? Or what is it going to be like? Or is it going to be hybrid? Am I going to have to come to class physically on campus or am I going to um, be able to take courses at home? Am I going to meet my professors or am, are they just basically going to be an image on the screen and I'll never meet them? Am I going to have friends? just some of the anxieties and some of the questions he's hearing from those first year students he said look there's all these movies all these youtube videos about that great you know freshman experience the frosh week all that stuff and for a lot of these young people this is the furthest thing away from their experience of the last two and a half years so they really don't know what to expect and he's saying a lot of them are academically behind so deanna what does the professor suggest parents and teachers do to help you know, when we began this series, another expert, uh, speaking of learning loss, said it took us two years to get into this mess. It's going to take us at least that long to get out of it. That's pretty much what Professor McCready suggests as well. He said, you know, be very, very patient uh, with teenagers, especially with young people. Be observant in case that there are mental health problems. If there's a, a, a sudden personality change, for example, if they become very withdrawn or anxious. But, uh, but be very patient and give them time. And, you know, it's not helpful, I think, to hear your parents say, oh, the university was the best time of my life, because, of course, our university years were so different uh, than the content in which they're starting their university years. So he just said, have lots of patience and lots of understanding. And he suggests that to both pa parents and teachers. Thanks for this, Deanna. That is the CBC's Deanna Sumanak-Johnson in Toronto.